Beetlejuice has been one of the most massive and volatile stars in our night sky, acting like a ticking time bomb expanding, dimming, and flickering. Rumors of a coming supernova have circulated for a long time. However, no one could declare whether or not we would ever witness such a colossal end. As of now, the James Webb Space Telescope has just confirmed what many astronomers feared but hoped to see as well. Betelgeuse has begun to explode, marking the passing of a star the most significant natural occurrence in our realized cosmic neighborhood in a long time. But what Webb uncovered isn't just about the fate of one star. It might hold the key to comprehending how stars die and how life, including ours, begins. Beetlejuice is more than a celebrity. It's a supersized, enormous, unstable behemoth over 700 times the size of the Sun and 20 times as massive located in the shoulder of the Orion constellation. Scientists have studied its fluctuations sudden, erratic dimming, plasma explosions, and magnetic storms capable of reverberating through space for decades. However, in 2019, it did something no one had anticipated or expected. It dramatically dimmed. Telescopes around the world turned their attention to it, wondering if we were observing its last act. However, it did not collapse not yet. Instead, Betelgeuse resumed its unpredictable rhythm until the James Webb Telescope began observing it. Owing to its unrivaled infrared capabilities, the James Webb Telescope began an exquisite study of the star in detail. What it discovered was troubling, bubbles of turbulent convection the size of planets bursting on its surface, massive gas plumes escaping into space, and beneath it all, a deep structural shift suggesting that the star's inner layers were destabilizing. It was not simply dying, it was preparing to give up. The result of months of infrared imaging revealed the truth. The core of Betelgeuse was undergoing a collapsed supernova in real time. Unlike anything we've seen before, Webb's sensors penetrated the thick layers of gas and dust surrounding the star and revealed a complex chain of destruction. Plumes of hot, radioactive material were blasting off into space. High-velocity shock waves were traveling outward faster than the speed of sound in stellar matter. Furthermore, within that data, scientists detected signatures of newly formed heavy elements fingerprints of a star breaking apart under its own weight. However, this was not just about admiring a beautiful and violent phenomenon. It was about witnessing the precise physics that underpin the transformation of matter. Webb's access enabled astronomers to learn how stars form elements that give rise to oceans, planets, and even human life. Because Betelgeuse is located just 640 to light years from Earth and neighboring cosmic terms, we are seeing it with a resolution and clarity that would not have been conceivable a few years ago. This is no longer theory, it is real proof of the universe's end and rebirth. Betelgeuse's collapse isn't just a light show in the sky, it's a jolt reshaping space as a whole. Webb's instruments have detected immense energy, radiation, and gravitational ripples expanding as a result of the explosion, suggesting the supernova may be powerful enough to send detectable gravitational waves across the galaxy. If confirmed, this would be the first time we've connected an apparent stellar explosion to gravitational wave data merging of light and wave that could change our comprehension of how spacetime reacts to extreme energy events. What's more, Betelgeuse's explosion could be visible from Earth with the naked eye, brighter than a full moon, even during the daytime. This indicates that humanity may soon witness a celestial event that hasn't occurred in more than 400 years. Yet, the scientific impact is even greater. By studying the interaction of shock waves with nearby gas clouds, Webb is revealing the origins of the universe's stars and the initial components for future solar systems. Betelgeuse, in its death, is already laying the foundation for new stars to rise. Perhaps the most haunting part of Webb's discovery is what lies at the center of the collapse. Most dying stars leave behind a black hole or a neutron star. However, for Betelgeuse, the data do not perfectly fit either category. 
There are strange disturbances in the magnetic field, gaps in plasma where none should exist, and evidence of material shifting backward inward rather than being ejected a process astrophysicists refer to as fallback. Currently, some experts believe that something entirely different may be forming from Betelgeuse phase change state between a neutron star and a black hole. If this turns out to be the case, not only has the James Webb Telescope witnessed a supernova, but it might have recorded the emergence of a brand new kind of cosmic object, a relic of a shadow class, something beyond the models of physics we have now. This has the potential to redefine how we comprehend gravity, matter, and perhaps the very nature of time itself. As soon as the James Webb Telescope's observations confirmed Betelgeuse's collapse, research facilities worldwide shifted into emergency mode. Telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, Japan, and the Canary Islands were redirected. Antarctica's neutrino detectors were activated, filtering for rare particles. Radio telescopes tuned in to capture the low-frequency aftermath. The Global Astronomy Network entered what is to as event protocol Betelgeuse, the world had never before witnessed a stellar collapse this close, this detailed, this coordinated. Yet the responses were not only scientific. Writers, philosophers, and spiritual leaders began to consider what it means to witness a star's death that ancient civilizations once worshipped, the mythical Betelgeuse, shoulder of the hunter Orion. In actuality, it is a cosmic fire that created elements that may now be part of our DNA. And right now, that firebox is extinguishing. Humanity is more than watching a celebrity die. We are viewing a story written across millennia come to its concluding section in real time. Though Betelgeuse lies 640 to light years away, the energy it's putting out in its final moments is anything but contained. The supernova's ejecta is traveling at thousands of kilometers per second, crashing into interstellar gas and nearby clouds. These collisions are already generating shock fronts, locations where particles are compressed, heated, and compelled to form novel combinations. This process can start the formation of stars in areas that were previously dormant. In other words, Betelgeuse's death may arouse a chain reaction of new stars, lighting up pockets of the galaxy we once thought were silent. Even more remarkable is what the James Webb Space Telescope is detecting beyond visible light. Ultraviolet light, X-rays, and it seems, gravitational distortions that suggest the very fabric of space around it is being altered. If Betelgeuse had planets, any of them may now be vaporized or flung into deep space. But the harm done to humans on Earth is not physical, it's philosophical. Because each and every signal we receive from the explosion reveals that we live in a universe that is alive with violence. As we study Betelgeuse's demise, an uncomfortable question arises, is this what will happen to our sun one day? Even though the sun isn't big enough to go supernova, its life will end in a fiery crescendo in approximately 5 billion years. It, too, will grow to the size of a red giant, consuming Venus and Mercury and possibly incinerating Earth. It will then disintegrate into a white dwarf, its outer layers falling into space in a sluggish, melancholy farewell. Watching Betelgeuse, we aren't just studying another star. We're watching a warning, a fast-forward vision, a prophecy of what all stars, including ours, will one day endure. The James Webb Space Telescope provides us with more than data, but also a glimpse into our future cosmic inheritance. In Betelgeuse, the fate of all suns, the death that is the source of life, and the fire that recycles itself into new beginnings. There is something deeply unsettling about watching the universe's power unfold without our control. We prefer to believe that we comprehend the universe, that we can predict, calculate, and anticipate. However, Betelgeuse serves as a reminder that we are still newcomers in a universe far older and far more complex than we imagined. The James Webb's discovery forces us to question what else is waiting to be uncovered. Are there other witnesses to this? Could there be other civilizations observing a similar event from various angles throughout the universe? 
Could they have witnessed the passing of their own stars, the collapse of their own legends? Or are we the only ones to keep track, categorize, and comprehend this spectacle? In addition, if we are able to observe a star's death in such detail, what else might we see next? A breaking down galaxy, a bending of dimensions, or a signal intended for us? Beetlejuice may not be just an ending, perhaps it's an invitation. Beetlejuice didn't just explode, it whispered into the distance. It tore through the silence of space to show us that even in death, a star can teach that the universe isn't just a black hole of unpredictability, but an arena of cycles, of endings that transform into beginnings, of destruction that seeds life. What the James Webb revealed is more than just facts. It's a message written with gravity, light, and time itself a message we were never supposed to clearly see. And yet, here we are. We watched a star collapse from the security of our minuscule planet orbiting a quiet sun. We stared into a mirror and saw our past and future, our insignificance, and our potential. Because if we are able to observe this, recognize this, and capture this moment in human history, then perhaps we are not, after all, so small. Possibly Beetlejuice didn't die in silence. Possibly it screamed, and we finally heard it. What do you believe Beetlejuice has shown us? Is this the tail end of a huge event, or the start of something much bigger? Post your ideas in the comments section. Share this video if you believe that science is about more than just numbers, it's about awe. And don't forget to subscribe because this is just the beginning. The universe is at last speaking and we are finally taking note.